Like every other good Vim user, I like to constantly and needlessly change up my configuration. As soon as I'm comfortable with a new config, I have an existential crisis and blow it all up. So when I saw a lot of chatter recently on a new package manager called lazy.nvim, of course I had to see what it was all about. It doesn't matter if Packer perfectly suited my needs and didn't need to be changed. Lazy is the new package manager in town and daddy had to jump on board. So without further ado, let's see what lazy.nvim is all about by converting our current Packer config to lazy. The funny thing about Packer and Lazy is that they have extremely similar syntax for bootstrapping and setting up packages. With Packer, you require Packer and run startup, where a function is passed back with a variable called use. We use use to specify packages using their GitHub repository names. With Lazy, we merely require Lazy and run setup and pass a Lua table of plugins to the setup function along with options. This makes setting up Lazy packages a bit more terse and easier to read although both are very similar. So with that out of the way, let's convert our Packer setup to lazy. First, let's back up the Packer plugins file by changing the name of plugins.lua to plugins.lua.back. Then we can create a new plugins.lua file, copy our old plugins content over, and edit the contents to work with lazy. Now again, if we check out the documentation, the big difference is that we want our plugin declarations to be a Lua table of strings or tables. So we need to edit our previous plugin definitions to match that convention. Another thing to keep in mind is some of the API is different with lazy versus Packer. For instance, when defining a package that depends on other packages to be installed, Packer expects the require attribute, whereas Lazy expects an attribute called dependencies. Feel free to consult the documentation for any other changes you run into. The docs are pretty thorough. Now that we've set our plugins to a new Lua table, we can copy over the bootstrap code for Lazy and replace our initial Packer bootstrap code. They're both pretty similar. And last but not least, we want to require Lazy and call setup passing our new Lua table of plugins and an empty table, for now at least, of options. So let's test out our new Lazy config. The documentation of Lazy states that it will automatically download and install missing NeoVim packages on startup. So if we quit NeoVim and reopen, all our packages should be reinstalled by Lazy and everything should work, right? Let's see. So we quit NeoVim, reload, and I guess everything works? Honestly, this was so seamless to me, I didn't even know if what I did was right. I can see that tree sitter is installing some modules, which gives me a clue that things worked correctly, but everything working out of the box like this feels too good to be true. Thankfully, you can check your lazy config by using the amazing check health lazy command. This will give you information about possible problems with your configuration. In my config, I still have the compiled Packer file in my path, so I need to get rid of that. And I still have Packer installed in the site opt packed directory. Once I get rid of those two things, the errors and warnings are cleared up and everything looks healthy. According to Folky, Folky? Folk? Am I pronouncing that right? I'm realizing now I have never said it out loud before. I hope I'm saying it right. But according to Folky, the UI was heavily inspired by Mason.envim. And if the UI is anything like Mason, we're in for a real treat. We can check things out by running the lazy command and launching the UI. In a word, it is amazing. From this UI, we have simple shortcuts to clean, sync, install missing packages, logs, profiling, and more. Overall, I have to say, I am really impressed with lazy.nvim. My NeoVim startup time feels faster thanks to lazy by default loading of plugins. Installing missing plugins automatically is an amazing feature. The health check is a great touch. The syntax of declaring plugins is nice and easy to understand, and the UI is just mwah. Chef kiss. All in all, I think Lazy is a really amazing NeoVim package. And speaking of amazing, if you want to know more about my Vim and Tmux setup, check out this video next. And hey, thanks nerds.